Hello crafty friends, welcome to today's clean and simple card making video. Today I'm going to use these dies, we've got four stitched circle dies, a you're so kind sentiment with its outline and my multi-dot cover plate die. Please excuse the beeping, booping and trilling in the background, it's raining outside so my frogs, the ones in the tank in the lounge are singing to one another. So I started off with some smooth white card that I placed on my grip mat and I inked it up with scattered straw distress oxide. I was looking for a nice smooth blend so I just kept going until I got what I wanted. I then did another square of smooth white card with wild honey distress oxide, one with tumbled glass and one with saltwater taffy. I also gently misted each piece of card with some white shimmer spray. This is DIY shimmer spray that I make with Cosmic Shimmer Pixie Powder White Pearl Mixer. If you want to know more about DIY shimmer sprays, I do have a video which I will link down in the video description. Once I'd inked up and spritzed and dried my four pieces of card, I then used my circle dies to die cut out some circles, funnily enough. So I've got a quick question for you today. Would you like me to do die cut December again this year? Last year in December, I did a video a day for the full 31 days using dies in every video. If that's something you'd like to see, then let me know in the comments. I do have a whole Die Cut December 2023 playlist that you can watch. I will link that in the video description too. Right back to today's card. So I took my four circles and I glued them to a panel of hammered textured white card that I previously cut down with a stitched rectangle die. This is going to be the panel that goes on the front of my card. I placed each circle in the corner and once they were glued down sufficiently I just used scissors to trim off the overhang. I then brought in my multi-size circle cover plate die and placed the bits that I chopped off on the die so that I could hopefully get a bunch of multi-size circles in all the different colours that I'd used for the front of my card. I then ran this through the die cutting machine and then poked out all the circles from the little holes and sorted them out into colours. To stick down my little circles, I used matte gel medium. I chose this because it's matte and if it's squished out from beneath the circles, it would dry without leaving any glossy smears on my card front. And all I did was put a few dots of glue down, add some circles on top, and then put a few more dots of glue down and add some more circles on top. And I just wanted to get a random looking distribution of sizes and colors filling up the gap between the big circles. So you wouldn't describe this card as clean because there's really no white space to think of, but it's definitely simple. For my sentiment, I die cut the words from gold glitter cardstock. This cardstock isn't a particularly bright gold, it's quite a nice subtle champagne gold, which I really enjoy. For the shadow, I decided to use some vellum, but before I die cut it, I put the vellum on some double-sided sticky so that it would stick down to my card front without any of the adhesive showing through. I then ran that through my die cutting machine and used my T-square ruler to stick it down to the left-hand side of the card, getting it as straight as possible. To stick down my glittery words, I just put some tacky glue on my mat, spread it out with a glue spreader, and then dipped my words in, and then positioned them on the vellum. I didn't quite get the yaw in the right place. It's slightly wonky, which is a bit annoying, but it's a handmade card and wonkiness is allowed. Thank you. 
After that was all stuck down securely, I used some tape runner to glue the panel to the front of my card. And to bring in a little bit more bling and some dimension, I dotted some gold Nouveau drops around. If you wanted to keep the card as flat as possible, you could omit the Nouveau drops. You could even omit the panel and stick your circles directly onto your card blank. And that is this card finished. I do hope you've enjoyed today's video and it's given you some ideas of things you can do with the simple dies you have in your stash. Don't forget, let me know whether you want to see Die Cut December again this year. And if you'd like to see more from me in general, then please subscribe and ring the notification bell. And I'll see you back here for my next video very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.